Good morning, everybody. Slitter here. Slitter Sports Fitness Motivation Channel. Please click the thumbs up, the like button. It helps get the content out there. Share, subscribe, cash app, dollar sign, Slitter Sports. It's getting cooler now, folks. It's definitely feeling good. Uh, I did check the weather. We probably have a couple more weeks of a couple more weeks during the daytime of about 85 degree plus weather. So my pool intake is probably going down soon, but I've had another blessed summer. Um, enjoying the kitty cat. Got his, her, sorry, her shots yesterday. It's cost me about $208, so actually $280 total to get a, a little travel bed for her and get all her shots and under insurance. So I'm covered after this for like 55, 55 bucks a month. So, so any visits are covered. She's an adorable little thing. She's four months old. And she, thank God she's got, she's clean of, she's healthy. She has no, um, which I was concerned about. She has no leukemia. She has no worms, no health issues, no fleas, no nothing. Just perfect health, which is great news. So welcome Slitta, the female black cat to the family. This video right here is about the uh, Falcons and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, as we know, the NFL season kicks off on Thursday, tomorrow night actually with the game, and then Friday night with the game. I want to let everybody know, no, I am not doing the NFL Pick'em Tournament anymore. I told everybody I was, I was stopping it after last year. It just takes too much time and effort, opportunity, and I have a lot more important things going on in my life to focus on. But I do appreciate everybody who was interested this year and just who, who enjoyed doing it the last couple of years, but it's just too much. Shout out to Stephen Rose. I don't know if he's doing his tournament like he does every year. The man does so many people in the tournament. No, I will not be doing that either. No, I will not be doing the flags. Well, I might be doing the box at the end of the year because I got my mini helmets, but other than that, no. Um, it's strictly just talking sports, football, my fitness, my work, and everything. Uh, anyways, this right here is about the Steelers. This is what I've heard. I've seen uh, this week uh, on ESPN and all that. I haven't watched any uh, Steeler content uh, videos because I don't know anybody on the Pittsburgh Steelers side. Like I said, my past is my past. My focus now is my current. Haven't seen anybody. I did YouTube Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, nobody's popping up. So if anybody, again, knows anybody who does Pittsburgh Steelers videos, sports videos, and they're sports content creators only, please let me know. If not, A, it is what it is. I'm no skin off my back. But coming into the game, this is what I expect. Okay, I expect the Falcons to dominate. Okay, you can't hype this team up, right? You can't hype the Falcons up with... The top one of the top five O lines in football and increasing massively on the defensive side of the football and to change a head coach and and have a home game week one struggle and lose. You can't struggle and lose and you can't struggle and win. You can't do that. You got to be dominant. I'm not going to say that we're not going to have games out there um, that uh, are going to be tough. Obviously there are, but you got to come out and dominate. Okay, I remember when Jerry Glanville came over from Houston in 1990. Okay, you know, the black and all that. He changed the helmets from red to black, tried to get that losing mindset out of the way. And his very first regular season game was at home against his former team, the Houston Oilers, and we mollywopped them 41-21 to or something like that, or 47-27. That was domination. We dominated on every side of the football. That's what we got to do on Sunday. We got to dominate on offense, dominate on defense, special teams, everything. Everything that we saw screw up with Arthur Dumb, Dumbass and Dan Quinn – the last couple of years, we had Mariota, Desmond Shitter, all that, you know, not being able to get sacks and all that, even though we improved last year, we got to dominate. Falcons got to get it. This is my opinion. Falcons have to get at least over 400 yards total offense. Got to get over 100 plus yards rushing. Got to get a couple of rushing touchdowns. Got to get a couple of passing touchdowns. Maybe cousin the sack maybe once or twice, whatever. Got to make some big plays. On the defense, got to get some interceptions, got to get some turnovers, and got to sack the quarterback. I, I need to see everything, all the frustration of all these last couple years and six years of losing in one game. I got to see the turnaround in one game. I don't think that's too far-fetched because if you're hyping this team up to be a Super Bowl contender and winning the division, you got to dominate your first home game. You can't even struggle and win. If you struggle and win, sure, I'll take the win. But I don't want to see things that I saw last year. I expect a hell of a lot more, okay? And God forbid if you should come out and lose. You understand what I'm saying? You're trying to, you know, the Falcons trying to turn the corner on this bullshit that we had to go through the last six years and the terrible football the last couple years 
you know. I don't care if it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers haven't won shit since Ben Roethlisberger was a quarterback early, what, middle 2000s. And then before that, they haven't won a ring since, I think, uh, the 70s. Right? Steelers don't intimidate. I mean, I know what Mike Tomlin is. Mike Tomlin's, mm -hmm. you know, one of, the, one of the best coaches out there. But he's underachieved in the playoffs. It's kind of like Bobby Cox or the Braves. You can have all the playoff seasons that you want, all the winning seasons, all the division titles that you want. But if you don't win a ring, in the end, it doesn't matter. Okay? Russell Wilson, as, I, as we know, is, as I said in the video uh, the other day, is, our, is the starting quarterback for the Steelers. We know what Russell Wilson is capable of doing, clearly. God forbid, it, you know, if he should come in and dominate. I don't think so. I, I, I really think that maybe on Sunday we'll, we should play so, so good on Sunday and dominate so much that we should have Russell Wilson out of the ball game in the fourth quarter and see bum-ass Justin Fields. Another jabroni. Overrated quarterback. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, anything less than domination and a win is unacceptable for Sunday. However, if we don't dominate and we win, I'll still be at least happy with the win because it's better to struggle and win than struggle and lose. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, Falcons got to be on point. You can't sell the team um, some goods if you can't deliver. You know, you can have all the excellent weeks of practices. I'm tired of hearing that throughout the year. We had an excellent week of practice. I want to see results on the field. You think the Kansas City Chiefs, you know, have excellent weeks of practice and fail in the regular in, during during the games? No, they dominate. They struggle at times, but they still dominate. That's why they, that's why they're elite right now. And we and ironically, we got them week three. Okay, ours. You know, all these teams. You know that constantly win the Niners, Eagles. Even though those two teams choke in the postseason, facts. They still dominate during the regular season. They have excellent weeks of practice, and they go out and win. You get yourself into the playoffs, anything's possible. That's what I expect. I expect this year a division championship and make a run for a ring in the, in the playoffs. And if you don't expect a Super Bowl with the type of team that we got, then something's wrong with you. Realistically, I don't think we're a Super Bowl team, even though the media says we are. A lot of YouTubers say that we are. On paper, we are a Super Bowl championship type team, but you got to show me, man. You got you got to go on the field and win games. You have six years of just embarrassment, you know, here in Atlanta to make people forget about. And and Justin Simmons said it, I believe, in an interview. He said that uh, his job is to come here and help this team win and change what what the mindset was for this team. You have he said something maybe not word for word, but he said the expectations are there. But we got to change the mind, the fans' minds of it by performing on the field and winning. You understand? I don't want to see any of that same shit as the, I've seen the last six years. I expect immediate turnaround. I want to see that Jerry Glanville 1990 against the Houston Oilers type bullshit. If you don't believe me, go back and watch highlights or even that game of 1990. It's on YouTube. Just total domination. I hadn't... Falcons were up 21 zip before you know it. They just dominated Houston in his very first regular season game. Didn't finish with the winning year that year. We didn't have all that talent in the world, but we did go to the playoffs in 91. But he set the standard for the turnaround of this organization. I want to see some of the exciting football that I saw Matt Ryan's first 10, 11, 12 years in the league up until 2017. That's what I want to see. I want to see some of that again. Actually, I want to see a lot of that. So comment below, folks. Let me know as a Falcon fan what you expect. Let me know if you disagree or agree with me. And if you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, let me know how you're feeling coming into the game. A lot of expectation for you guys. Do I think you are Super Bowl contenders? No. Not even close. Do I think you could go to the playoffs again? Sure. But I think Mike Tomlin's time with the Steelers is running out. I mean, how many chances do you need to win a ring when you get into the playoffs? God forbid. You know, I know what it's like to go to the playoffs every year and lose. Bobby Cox did it from 91 to 2014, I think. He went to the playoffs, but we had one World Series ring to show for it. So that's kind of like what the Steelers are with Mike Tomlin. Get good regular season, one of the best coaches in history, get to the playoffs and lay an egg. Well, I expect the Steelers to lay that egg, that rotten egg on Sunday. I will be live streaming 1 o'clock, guys. I'm going to try to get in maybe around 1230 pregame, 1245, just to get some time for people to, to get, you know, talk about it, get a little hyped. You know, but I encourage everybody who supports me and follows me, not only like all my videos and share it out, but tell everybody about the stream coming up on Sunday. Okay, you're going to have a good time. Trust me. Win or lose. But I expect to win. And we shall see how that turns out. 
Sports Live and ATL, Slit of Sports Fitness Motivation Channel, Cash App Dollar Sign, Slit of Sports. And uh, let's go, guys. And I got a video coming in, in a little bit. I'm going to show my merchandise that I have in my sports room. Uh, anybody that has merchandise that they want to give up to add to the sports room, that would be greatly appreciated. I, I do buy sports stuff throughout the year, so I'm sure I'll have some more things. But, you know, I'm looking to really deck that sports room out. That's my sanctuary. All right. So if you're interested, let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.